Yes, yes, Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana. About one day ago now, William Ruto took his campaigns to Meru County. And while in Meru County, he attacked Mount Kenya leaders who are currently supporting Raila Molo Odinga, specifically Kiraitu Murungi. And keen political observers are of an opinion again that during that tour or during those rallies, he also attacked the Luo community. Listen into this. Yes. Listening to that video, I tend to believe and feel that William Ruto is cleverly attacking the Luo community, but disguising his attack as if he's attacking Raila Molo Odinga. And I'm saying that because Raila Molo Odinga has never been captured live on camera throwing any stones to anybody. Raila too has never been captured live on camera approaching any railway line. So most definitely, William Ruto is attacking Raila's supporters and in this case, he's cleverly attacking the Luo community. So I want you to also listen to William Ruto way back in 2019. Listen into this again. <laughs> Kama wabomoi nyumba, wanangoa reli. Kama wangoi reli, wanatenganisha marafiki. Sasa hii wabao tunawaelewa. Alafu tunawa, we, are, we are entertaining them for what purpose? Yes. That's William Ruto way back in 2019. And one interesting thing about those two videos is that the message is one. William Ruto is talking about people who throw stones and people who approach railway line. So his utterance yesterday in Meru was not as a result of a slip of a tongue, but what he believes in. What he, what he always believes in. Because he said it in 2019, and also he repeated it yesterday in Meru. And it's not only the local community here, ladies and gentlemen. There is also a video that has been widely circulated. It's a video about William Ruto talking about the Kikuyu community. And this video, one of you, my fans here, sent it to me through my WhatsApp number. Listen in again to this video. Mi nauliza nyingi. Kama muko na shida na wakikuyu. Ha muko na shida na wakikuyu kuliko sisi wakalinji. Tuko na shida kubwa zaidi. Sao sao? lakini ikifika mahali unatafautisha maneno unaweka maneno ya tofauti za kijamii kanu unatafuta serikali kwanza kwa sababu ile serikali itakusaidia kutatua matatizo ulio naye lakini kama wewe unakwama mahali moja unasema huyu simpendi na huyo hatoki Kenya atakuwa hapo Siku ya kupiga kura, atapiga kura hata na yei. Sasa weko utapanya na magani. Yes. That's William Ruto for you again. Somebody who wants to be the president of this great nation, Kenya. So, what does that mean politically? That's our analysis and discussion today. So, if in case you've just bumped on this YouTube channel, for the very, very first time, kindly subscribe, give this video a like. Thank you, God bless you. There are five things, ladies and gentlemen, I read from th those clips. Five things. I've summarized them into five for you and me to understand one another better. The, fir the first thing that comes out very clearly from those clips is that William Ruto is very disparate in trying to stalk ethnic animosity and hatred amongst communities. It seems to appear that any time you disagree with William Ruto politically, he will always be attacking your community. 
that's something very, very clear. Because the mere fact that is now not politically, he's not in one line politically with Raila Molo Odinga, he's, get, he's using that as, as an escape boat to attack the Luo community, to antagonize the Luo community against some other communities. And that comes out very, very clearly from, from what he said yesterday in Meru and what he said in 2019. And then the video, when he's talking about the Hiku community, it seems that at that time, maybe he was in, not in the right books with the Kikuyu communities. So he was just maybe trying to indirectly attack the Kikuyu communities again there. So it seems to appear that any time you disagree with William Ruto politically, he always attacks you and or rather attacks your community in the disguise of maybe attacking you. That's something that comes out very, very clearly. So William Ruto has to work on that. He is sending a picture that is actually stalking ethnic animosity amongst communities. He has to work on that. Secondly, Ruto is a loose talker. He has a loose tongue. He has a loose tongue. And again, on this, ladies and gentlemen, you will likely agree with me that from those kind of speeches, if you put Oscar Sudi here, and then you put William Ruto here, there seems to be no difference. The only difference is that William Ruto is a deputy president, while Oscar Sudi is a member of parliament. But from their utterances, they seem to come, or rather they seem to be a chief of the sample. They are people with loose tongues. And as somebody who wants to be the president of this great country, William Ruto has to tame his tongue. He has to tame his tongue. Because in so many new mayor's occasions, we have been seeing William Ruto directly attacking leaders and abusing them. He has been calling Raila Muganga, and then yesterday again, he was also attacking Kiraitu Murungi. Though that's going to be our analysis in another video, where we are just going to analyze and see what William Ruto's attacks on Kiraitu mean for him politically, as far as the Ameru votes are concerned. That's something we are going to look into details. But again, it just proves and shows that William Ruto is a loose tongue. Or he, he, he seems to be coming out as somebody with a loose tongue. He has to work on that. And then thirdly, Ruto is exploiting ethnic hatred amongst communities to ride to power. You will agree with me, ladies and gentlemen, that William Ruto, know that for a very, very long time, some sections of this country have been using Raila phobia to win votes in their respective areas. And that's likely what Kenyans are trying to run away from. So William Ruto is cleverly here trying to use the ethnic hatred that has always existed into antagonizing communities in order to gain political mileage. Because in some parts of Mount Kenya, before the handshake, you just had to paint the Luo community in bad picture, or even paint Raila Molo Odinga in bad picture, in order to get votes. It seems to appear William Ruto is still very, very disparate in using that same, same strategy, maybe to get political mileage in Mount Kenya. Something that Kenyans maybe are trying to run away from. So it also, it also comes out clearly that he's trying to use that formula to get votes for Mount Kenya. And then fourthly, Ruto stands for the dark past. Mm. He stands for that dark past. Because largely again, Ken Kenyans here. Raila and Uhuru shook hands in 2018. And one reason, ladies and gentlemen, we believe these people might have shook hands was to bring the country together. Because for a very, very long time, since the 60s, Luo community and the Kikuyu communities have been at loggerheads. So Uhuru and Raila, most likely they shook hands to bridge that gap that, has, that had already existed between those two communities. But William Ruto here, 
He seems he doesn't want that gap to be bridged. He wants that gap to continue so that he can go to the to the, the people of the mountain to remind them of the kind of animosity that had, that has always existed. And by reminding those people, they can just continue hating Raila Molo Odinga and to an, a larger extent, hating the Luo community. William Ruto seems to stand for that bad past, or rather for that dark past, that Kenyans maybe are trying to run away from. From the way he's talking, he seems to stand for that. And then finally, Ruto is disparate. He's just disparate. Because from the way William Ruto is talking, it seems that his new strategy, or rather his new style of campaign, if you disagree with him politically, it doesn't matter who you are, the thing he will do to you is just insults and attacks. That is something that is very, very clear, ladies and gentlemen. And William Ruto is largely doing that, maybe because he's disparate. He is seeing maybe his fortunes dwindling before his own very eyes. So I tend to believe he's maybe disparate and he wants to prove a point. He's disparate that his, <coughs> his fortunes are been dwindling before his, own before his own very, very eyes. And he doesn't know how he can come out of that. So he's just left with one option, but to attack others by abusing them. That also seems to come out very, very clearly. Otherwise, ladies and gentlemen, just as I did indicate when you were starting, if you've just bumped on this YouTube channel for the very, very first time, kindly subscribe, give this video a like. If you are watching us for the very, very first time and you are watching us outside Kenya, drop a comment. Let us know from which part of the globe you are watching us from. Drop a comment, please. And to our fans here, I'm very, very much humbled for the kind of support you're giving me here by constantly giving our videos likes and also constantly dropping your comments on a daily basis. God bless you. God bless Kenya. And to any other person who might be a fan of our videos here, but you have not yet subscribed, take this opportunity, hit on the subscription button, and if possible again, give this video a like. Give it a like, please. Give it a like. Thank you. God bless you. God bless Kenya. Tamu sana. Tamu sana. Tamu sana.